What's up, YouTube? James Affair here. Welcome back to another episode of the Anno 1800 Expert Let's Play series. On the last episode, Vicente Silva declared war on us, which makes things very, very difficult, especially in the old world right now, because in the old world, we've got, we're surrounded basically on all sides by his islands, and it's just not good overall. Um, Margaret Hunt is doing okay, Alonzo Graves is doing okay, but Vicente is the one that's really, really um, having an effect on our operations here. So I'm continuing to build ships of the line. I think I will go ahead and start another one. Um, and right now it's taking mostly, um, yeah, weapons are kind of a big deal right now. They're very, very, um, they're, we, we don't have very much production of them and we're doing our best, but we have, we have two factories. We're increasing the productivity level, but right now that's kind of the bottleneck for making more ships of the line. So we'll just keep doing that. We have almost enough to make one more, but I really want to get going on, um, really kind of shoring up our defenses. Um, the next thing I want to do is to get the Docklands going. Now we need 25,000 to get the Docklands going. We could sell some soap maybe, but the problem is, as Vincente here is, um, he's on all sides. A any ship we send will get attacked by these. And I had a couple ships get melted by a flamethrower last episode. So, uh, you know, that, that idea is probably not going to happen anytime soon. Um, uh, yeah, this guy was kind of restoring some health. Um, let's put him back on the trade route here and see what I can do. Because I'm bringing coal from Caladan over to um, over to Arrakis here. So let's see if we can do some upgrading here to workers. We can do some there. Some there. And then maybe we can... Um... Oh yeah, another thing we can do is someone mentioned to give beef to the people here. I think it's a lifestyle need for workers. Is it food and drink? Let's see. They can do rum, hot sauce. Oh, beef. Yeah, we can give beef to them. And then um, soccer balls. Interesting. Oh, Artista. Artista might be um, the new world. Um, but yeah, so we can definitely do the beef. I don't know how much beef we have on hand right now. Probably not too much. Yeah, we don't really have much coming in, if any, in the old world. But I think we, we definitely do in the new world. So that's... That'll probably be something that's easier to do, uh, but let's go ahead and we'll make some, we'll start making some beef here on uh, here on Arrakis. Um, let's make a beef cattle farm or maybe a few of them. We'll put them like right here on the north side by the oil. Of course, it's safe. Don't worry about that. Let's let's make a let's go ahead and make here we go the cattle farm. I'll put one down here just for the lifestyle needs for these people. And then I'll put a silo here as well. Should be no problem. Uh, we are getting low on cash as always, but uh, I'm in kind of a pickle. I can't. Um, let's see. Oh, and there's four. Perfect. I'll go ahead and put a warehouse here. Just right next to it. That should be good. Then maybe I can make some more beef farms as well. And start giving that to these people. So let's let's do it for workers. I wonder if I can do it for artisans as well. Just something, oh, I can do the crafts. I can give them crafts and actually clay, right? I do have quite a bit of clay, yeah. I can give them clay and uh, wool, so let's do that. Clay, wool. And I, I should I should actually do some, maybe some extra wool, just so, I, just so that they're all uh, supplied, you know? We'll, we'll have the lifestyle needs like over here, how about that? The lifestyle needs will be uh, I think they'll be very, very important for our next, just kind of for the Empire going forward. Because especially since the, the income is going to be so uh, tight, I need to do what I can to really expand. Let's put the uh, let's put the sheepfold down here. And that only takes three, so that's good. And the lifestyle needs will be right here for now. So we might have actually some extra wool now. Yeah, we do. Um, the beef will be coming in right now. Um, let's actually see how much beef we have coming in Just to make sure it'll be enough. Yeah, okay So the demand the demand is or the supply is one the demand has yet to be seen um, Actually, did I did I even start that yet? Um, let's go to the happiness lifestyle needs um, Actually, nope. Let's start that now for the workers and So the workers and artisans are both gonna have some needs going. That's good and I think so they need perfume, scooters, okay, paper, yep, that'll be, paper will be coming in from, uh, from Mbessa once we do get there. Then communication, we don't have anything for the local mail yet. 
And I wonder, okay, so we can get a postal service, but it takes the, uh, the aluminum there. Yeah, the aluminum, like, fitting things. So that's gonna probably take, that's gonna take a while to get to, actually, as well. So we'll, we'll leave that for now, and we'll, um, hopefully watch our coins go up by a good amount. But we are making another ship of the line, that's good. I can drop another one here soon, but I think what I want to do is I'm bringing a, I'm bringing a clipper up here to the old world. And what I want to do is bring some weapons down to the new world, just so that I can maybe um, put some put some uh, harbor guns on uh, Perella here, because Perella is going to be like my staple for the new world. Um, it's it's going to be it's going to be important that I keep it and don't lose it. I have plenty of uh, I have I have decent amount of steel beams, but bricks and timber I have plenty of here, so I really should start start uh, working on this a little bit more. Um, the boxing arena is going to be. A little expensive, and it's only worth two coins per uh, per obrera, so I'm not too concerned with that one. Um, and I think we actually can we make um, we might be able to make beer down here um, with the hacienda, right? Let's see if we can. I, I don't know for sure. Um, hacienda. Um, actually, let's check the farm. Crop selection. Let's see. We can do spices. Um, no, we can't do hops here. Hops is only in the new world or in the old world. So, okay. So that's fine, I guess. Um, what else do we need to do here? We are making. Okay, we need to start bringing in goods to the uh, the. Let's see, the old world. Um, where is the next thing? Okay, canned food is the next thing. Actually, fur coats is going to be huge. Um, so, what can we do to get fur coats coming in? Fur coats require um, cotton fiber and furs, right? Furs right there, cotton fiber right here, or cotton fabric. And this one here should have 50 on it. And I think it's still on its way. Yeah, it's still on its way, that's good. That's very good, and I might actually get another clipper to uh, work on that route. But uh, fur coats, so fur coats, I don't know if I actually have that. Yeah, I don't have furs here or here. So I need to start focusing on Oh, Madam Kahina just dropped off some coins for us. What did she buy? I'm looking to... Yeah, let's see what she bought here. Um, passive trade. Madam Kahina just bought... Oh, she bought a bunch of soap. Soap, bricks, and uh, and windows. That's kind of nice. So my windows are now at 135. That's good. That's good. Maybe I'll uh, hang on to those for a while. Actually, no. No, I need to sell those. <laughs> let's, uh, yeah, let's keep, let's keep selling them. We'll sell them till we're down to like a hundred. Yeah, a hundred will be good. The soap we'll keep down there. Um, steel beams, that's fine. Keeping the bricks at 75 for now. Okay, that, that'll that be fine. And uh, maybe what I can do is actually, I could build a flame tower as well. And I think I will do that. I'll build one right, um, yeah, I'll build one right here next to the repair. It's gonna cost 6,000, 20 bricks, 25 weapons. Um, it's worth it though. So there's our flame tower and the range, the range on it. I'm not sure, but the flame tower will really help defend this. Um, this is under attack again. Um, oh, and it's coming back here. Okay. Yep. And I need to drop off that item too. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I need. I need to remember to drop off that weapon, the or that item. Um. Hospital allow disease. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I do need to get a hospital here. That's something I really forgot about. Um, that can go in pretty soon, though. Actually, I can put one in right now. That can go in maybe, like, here, right? I should put that somewhere that's, like, convenient. Um, maybe, like, right here would be good because I can't move any buildings there. Or I could put it right here. I could move this. Move the fire station. Delete these roads and then put the hospital like right in the middle so I get some really good coverage. I think that would be wise. Um, but it's too wide. Okay. Housing is too wide. That's okay. Or the uh, hospital is too wide. And I can I can put it like right here, I think. I think that'll work just fine. We'll put the uh, hospital like right there. We'll put the road around here. And then there. I think the, yeah, the, the spacing isn't great, um, but I can put some trees here and then kind of rearrange it a little bit as well. Um, let's delete those trees, I think. And yeah, that'll be, that'll be okay. 
it's a little inefficient there, but I can uh, readjust it later. Um, I can kind of build this out a little more, but yeah. So the hospital is good. Um, now we don't we don't have as much of a uh, the sickness isn't going to have as much of an effect on us. So if I go to diplomacy, I want I want to be friends with Margaret Hunt, but she's been really tough to be friends with. Um, Alonzo Graves. Um, let's see if Flatter works. Flatter does not work for him. Does he give me a quest, a destruction quest? So I wonder if that quest is going to bring us past our island here or not. Um, let's check on it. Let's see. Oh, it might be in the new world, actually. I wonder if the quest is for the new world. Yeah, it is. It is. It's all the way down here, though, and it's right in the middle of all of uh, Vincente's islands, which is not good. Um, okay, what do I have here? Just my ships coming back with some sails. Okay. I wonder if I could buy anything from her. She's requesting weapons. Um, aluminum profiles. She's offering those. Um, any good items? No. Um, I don't... Hmm, maybe I should get another frigate as well. Just to have like kind of a fleet here. Um, I don't know if I should do that. Yeah, I think it might be wise. How much is a frigate? Actually, that cost uh, 20000 so I'm going to pass on that for now. I'm going to bring them up here, and then I think I'm going to use this money here to get the Docklands going. Because the Docklands will be super, super important. And then I can use like the surplus. Uh, oh, 60 bricks. Okay. Well, um, what happened to all my bricks? Oh, I, it's because I made a uh, hospital. There you go. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop um, selling bricks at the moment. Fast forward it, and... Uh, See how this goes. So the flame tower, I'm actually pretty excited about. I can't, I can't see the range on it. Oh, there we go. The range is about to right here. So if anything gets gets in this radius, um, yeah, I, I dare, I dare someone to come in the range of this. This thing is insanely strong. 19 damage per per shot. It fires in every 0.3 seconds. So it's just constant. 63 damage per per second. Yeah, per second. That's pretty crazy, actually. So the bricks will come in fast enough. Um, the hospital's doing work here. What's what can we do more for Caladan? Um, oh, there's there's a ship of the line. Okay. So I'm actually I'm actually excited to have a decent fleet, um, and this fleet should um, this fleet should help me to be able to take care of uh, Vicente's islands here. But the problem is, is these uh, these flamethrowers. These the flame tower alone, I think, could kill all my ships of the line without much, without much issue. Um, and the range is pretty big on them too, and I can't really I can't really compete with that. So, I think we're gonna have to find another solution. But uh, let's check on the. There's another thing I wanted to try, and that is the school, or sorry, the university. And the university costs 50 bricks. Okay, okay. Let's get the Docklands first. I think that's going to be the most important thing. And it costs 60, so uh, so that'll be coming down the line. Um, the New World. Let's go back here. And let's work on Perella a little bit more. I think that would be a good thing to do. But let's let's see what it needs. Um, what it fully needs right now. But I do... I Wait, I do have the Clipper here. Yeah, I do have a Clipper here. Okay, so let's... Uh, let's get these extra bricks. And... Let's see, bricks. Here we go. Let's make some depot. Uh, we'll put the depot, like, maybe... We'll put them kind of on the edge, I think, would be fine. We'll put one there. Then we'll put one, like, right there. And that way we have some extra storage, and maybe I could put, like, a gun. Like, a mounted gun. Um, like, right here. Cannon tower? Yeah, that would be good. Put a cannon tower there. And I need, uh, oh, I need more weapons here, so, okay. The weapons will come soon, but one of my ships is under attack still. Hi. Yeah, and it's still, it's still, um, it's still going to be the pirate that's attacking me. So that's fun. Let's, uh, let's get my clipper down to here. And then, well, it should, it should be safe. Let's go back to the new world. So we got some storage going so I can continue to get my bricks. And then what I want to do actually is put this clipper on another trade route to get the nifty mullet. We're gonna get another route going. Um, the nifty mullet is going to go from Perella to Arrakis. And it's gonna be, this one's gonna be mainly like extra stuff. It's gonna be like the cotton fabric. Um, so we'll, we'll have that set for now. 
and then um, then we'll adjust it as we go for more for more goods. Um, also, let's let's set it to grab. Let's set it to grab some more stuff. I want to grab from Arrakis. I want to load like uh, some weapons maybe. Um, let's have it be like like five weapons. There we go. We'll just unload them in Perella periodically. Um, because that's gonna that's gonna help out a lot to be able to make our defenses here. That's that's gonna be extremely important. Um, so what do we have going here? We do we need a chapel? Not really. Um, what's going on with the rum? The rum is a little bit lower. That's okay. Um, what else do we need to do? What else? What else? I think because the Obreras need some more stuff, but they need they need beer or they need uh bombins and sewing machines. Let's see what's going on here. Um, an increase in the newspaper. Um, let's. I think. I think Margaret Hunt would be like rather upset about that. So we'll just publish it. Publish the truth. But she doesn't like it when we do publish the truth. She doesn't have, give us a plus. So maybe next time when the propaganda pops up, I'll, I'll uh, pass on that. But um, so we need the bombin weaver, right? And we do. Do we have? We don't have any felt producers. But also the Bombin Weaver isn't going to be worth that much, but we do need it to upgrade. So it's going to be plus two Obreros. Um, the sewing machines will be worth the most for sure. What kind of lifestyle needs do they have? Um, local mail. See, they could get a lot of a lot of value out of the mail. That's for sure. A lot of a lot of uh, profit. Um, let's see. Then the workers they need the furs. I'll be getting the furs from the uh, Docklands. They need. They need the cotton fabric. I'm working on that. They need actually the engineers need coffee. I don't even need the coffee yet, but I'm already making it. Let's uh let's let's put this let's put this uh clipper back online. And we need what else do we we don't really need much else from the new world. Actually, nope, you come back here. Come back here. Alright, Arrakis is cured, it is healthy, awesome. That's exciting. Oh, we're full on output storage of the uh, framework knitters, so that's nice. That's very, very nice. We'll get the clipper back over here. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Once the clipper gets back over here, I'm gonna drop this item off. And then I'm going to um, put put this back on the route. Um, actually, I should probably keep it. No, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I do need the coal income from uh, from Caladan here. But it's gonna be most important for the, uh, for the canned goods. Um, and I could start like the peppers at least maybe like they cost so much money to get going, but uh, I'm gonna need a couple of them Let's do that and then um, maybe I can do the meat as well here Let's see if we can get some of that going. I just spent a lot of money on those red pepper farms, but uh, hopefully it'll be worth it Cattle farm. Let's put some actually I don't have wheat here So I can't make them very efficient so let's let's uh with the silos i mean so let's maybe put some more like right here let's drop let's drop the uh let's drop the cattle farm like actually i could put one like here i guess and then yeah yeah let's put one like right here and then so that could be uh so that so they produce Two minutes, and with a silo, they do it in one minute, right? So that's one. That's one. Um, let's let's put another one down, and then we'll go ahead and start the. Uh, we'll get well with the trade route. There we go. There we go. And then with the trade route, we'll start bringing in the uh, everything else. So, oh boy. Um, so this so this uh, the clipper right here, the Merlin. We'll get the Merlin. Um, We'll be loading peppers here, then we'll load meat. No, we're not loading meat, we're just loading peppers. There we go. Then we're bringing in the, the wood as well for um for the for the windows. For, yeah, for the windows and the sewing machines, because we do need wood for all that stuff. And then I might actually be full on wood here too. Um, so what's going on here? Um, what happened to my money? My money... Oh, the rum ran out, that's why. That's okay. That's okay. Let's put a canned food production. Oh, we need an artisanal kitchen. So maybe we'll put some artisanal kitchens up here. But uh, we should have probably two artisanal kitchens for one cannery. 
So we can blueprint the uh, we can blueprint this uh, this operation here. We'll put artisanal kitchen right here, and actually, I actually I could yeah, let's just put them here. I shouldn't be too picky on where they go for at least for now, because I can I can always move them later. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's put the road actually put them right there and right there. So give us give us room for uh, later. Later operations. Put the road, or put it like this. And I wonder if I can fit a warehouse here. No, I can't. I'll, I'll just put it right there. That's fine. And uh, that will cost me some money and some upkeep. But that is okay. Um, let's go to my routes, actually. And see if I need to bring... Okay, so that's all there. Um, I'm bringing back as much rum as I can. But let's load in Perella. Let's try to load some more rum, actually. And unload more there. Good. And I need to start turbo producing rum at Perella because uh, I need to keep that income coming in in the old world. So I have the rum distilleries going, but I think I think I can get the breweries, the Hacienda Brewery. Uh, yeah. So okay. So let's let's build one here. Brewery catalog. Yeah, and we can do rum. That's really good. So let's let's do uh, let's do rum. Begin brewing. <laughs> they, they like the disease in my city, like Margaret Hunt and uh, what's his name? Alonzo. Yeah, they, they both, <laughs> they like the disease in my city, which is a little weird. I don't know why you would like a disease. That's very strange. Uh, but anyways, let's bring the road kind of down here out to this end. And we're, we're going to do a brewery catalog. Okay, rum. We're, they're getting the sugar cane and the wood. Okay. And then maybe, um, actually, in these, these breweries here, they're minus, uh, they take... They take 30 Hernaleros. And then the, the actual rum distilleries that I have over here, because I put them over here, right? Um, what brick here? factories. I think I put them here. The rum distilleries. Yeah, and these take these take 30 Hernaleros. Okay, they, they both take 30. It takes 50 maintenance. Um, but they produce in 30 seconds. Okay. And then the how about the Hacienda breweries? They take 50 maintenance, 30 Hornaleros, but they're minus attractiveness. But they produce in 30 seconds. Okay, I see. But they but they take up less space. That's the thing. They take up less space. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put one like right here. Actually, I'll just put it like right here, and then kind of uh, yeah, there we go. I'll just kind of put them up like this, and then check on the uh, the productivity. So my production of sugarcane is actually quite a bit less. So let's go ahead and drop some more, drop some more of these uh, sugar sugarcane fields. We'll put two down, and uh, I think that'll be actually okay. Um, actually, no. Let's let's look at this. So two, that's twelve. Um, and then I, okay. So what I should actually do is maybe let's stop these for now. And see if this is good enough. See if this is good enough to really supply the demand that I'm that I'm bringing in in the old world. So that should be okay. That should be okay for now. So I'm producing the coffee over here and the rum here. What else would be good? Um, I'm only making 18. I only have 18k right now. It's so expensive to build like the a lot of this stuff. It takes like 3,000 just to build one of these breweries. But uh, let's go back to the old world, and I just realized I, since I didn't have enough bricks for um, to build the the Docklands Main Wharf, I kind of forgot about building it. But I will have sixty here soon. The problem is, is I don't have the income. I, I need uh, I need twenty twenty five k to build this, and uh, it's not quite coming in yet. So, but I am selling some. Oh, actually, Madam Kahina, I think just just bought some stuff from me, so now I have plenty. Um, so yeah, that'll be good. I have four ships of the line, Attention. so I have a I have a nice fleet to to use on something if I need, and uh, this should be good to go as soon as I'm as soon as these bricks start coming in, and they're oh production's paused actually on the clay pits. Um, so let's start those two back up because I, I paused them just because uh, just to save save on the save on the upkeep and then also um there we go, there we go. Okay, so yeah, I left one going. Um, let's let's get the Docklands though. Docklands main wharf, good to go. 
All right, now that we have that, um, build modules, add features. Yes, I know. Um, get out of that. Okay, I need to sell this under attack thing first. All right, so I'm bringing back. I think this is, is this my first shipment of peppers? It actually could be. Oh, and there's a, look at that going on right there. I could actually, yeah, let's go up here. Get my ships to the line going and maybe I can, um, oh, not there, not that way, not that way. Let's bring him this way, because I don't want him to get melted by uh, Vincente's little uh, operation there. But I'll bring my ships to the line kind of this way, and then see if I can grab some of the some of the goods there, and then also destroy some pirates, because that would be satisfying. Ship under attack, yeah, it's still this one. Um, and I wonder, see, Vincente has he has a flamethrower here too, which is a little like frustrating and kind of annoying. Um, Cause yeah, it'll just melt everything I have. Unfortunately, I need to get the uh, I need to get like to engineering like advanced weapons and all that stuff. But to even get there, like it'd be helpful if I could at least trade. So these these islands have got to go, and I might just have to bite the bullet. You know what I mean? Um, I might have to bite the bullet. Okay, those uh, every all those are gone. All the items that were there are gone because my ships align are so slow. Um, but yeah, so all of that's gone. Um, I need to maybe kill some pirates. There we go. Um, cause killing some pirates, I can maybe get some items, some valuable stuff out of them. That would be kind of nice. Look at you, swagger. There's some more pirates here. But yeah, I'd like to definitely get these guys out. And those those gunboats are uh, those gunboats are doing pretty good. Actually, or the uh, ships of line are killing these nicely. We'll grab that item. I didn't want to chase the pirate necessarily, um, but the pirates actually okay. So. Oh, they're they're actually doing fine. Okay, so I killed most of the pirates here, and uh, I you know I wonder if my ships aligned could handle this. They'd have to kill that fo that uh, fortress or that um, flamethrower first for sure. Let's slow that down a little bit. Let's let's build another ship of the line, and then um, I think what I want to do is maybe get some like gunboats for bait and just use those. Use those as like a beginning little thing just to give my ships of the line time. Um, let's see, export import. What do I need? What do I need right now is probably just furs. So, what do I trade for furs? What do I make the most of? I would say I'm making. What would be the most valuable thing I could trade? I, I'm making soap, right? I'm focusing on soap, so maybe I could bring in fur. Um, and fur might actually, yeah, fur is actually locked. I can't just do that right away. So maybe I could bring in something else. Actually, you know what I could export is I'm making a ton of worker clothes, right? I'm actually selling it. Let's see what I'm selling and, and actually make sure I have room to export stuff. Um, so I do have some room. I'm making more surplus of worker clothes. Um, I don't want to sell the bread anymore. I don't want to sell steel beams anymore. I don't want to sell. Yeah, I don't want to sell the soap. Well, yeah, soap I think will be good to sell actually. Um, I think the windows I don't want to sell for now. I'm going to need those later. And I think that is it. But I can make, I can definitely start making the goulash right now. So let's, uh, let's, let's blueprint or maybe start making those. Um, artisanal kitchen. That's going to cost 7,000. Maintenance cost 100. So that's going to be like a really, really big deal, actually. Um, these, the lifestyle needs for these people is, uh, it's, it's only, it's only one, it's only one coin. Um, and then the clay is actually not doing so hot. Um, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So let's, yeah, let's, let's just get, let's just get the, uh, let's get the artisanal kitchens going. I can't, uh, oh, actually I don't have the money for that. It costs 15k. Um, okay, well, we'll we'll pause that. We'll pause that production for now. Actually, we'll keep it going because we can we can use the surplus to uh, produce once she, once we actually do have enough cash. Um, and then the uh, our money should go up by quite a bit once. Uh, oh, we do have the rum going. Oof, we actually already do. Okay, um, the beer would help a lot though for sure. Um, the malt house, we're producing uh, quite a bit here already. Um, actually. Let's see what kind of surplus we're at. We're okay. We're we're making flour out of that. We're making okay. So I actually, if I put some more wheat down, I think it would be. I think, I think it would help 
to uh, to get the hop farm going too. But we have we have hops here in Caladan, and um, I think maybe I should delete some of these, some of these peppers, and then start going for hops now, because um, hops will be that very very much needed cash that will give us that very much needed cash. Um, so yeah, we can we can start doing this. We can blueprint. Um, we can start blueprinting this here. But the but the hops do cost quite a bit. So let's see what they cost. Um, the construction cost is actually 980. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's not bad at all. We can uh well we do need more farmers here in Caledon. So actually what I might do is downgrade some of the workers. Um But these take these take a minute thirty. So I should probably work on I should build four of them, I think, and then just load up on the hops and bring them here. Um, and there we go. There's another one. Load up on the hops. I might actually need another clipper, to be honest. So that'll be something that I do soon. Um, and I can't buy. I can't just buy a clipper from Archie. Well, I could buy. Well, no, I don't even have enough money for that. So, um, so what I would need to do is make some malt houses, make a couple more grain farms, a malt house or two. And then a uh, brewery because the brewery actually isn't that fast like it produces uh, like per minute like one per minute and my demand the demand oh harvest festival the demand for my beer is uh four so i'll need <laughs> i'll need four of these i'll need two malt houses and i'll need um four breweries to to supply the demand of my people here I mean, it'll be a substantial bump in income, though. So, so the Harvest Festival, what does it do? Happiness, income per house, uh, product affects all crop farms. Productivity, um, maintenance cost, nice, very nice. So it'll affect all these crop farms here, which is awesome. But what I should do is take advantage of this and build some extra grain farms. So I'll build some right here because I will. I, I need these for the uh, for the malt house. So I'll build them up like this. Um, yeah, let's let's do it with like kind of one grain thing to the side, and then expand it kind of up here. There we go. And then we'll copy and paste it. We'll copy this one to go here, and put one here and there, just so I make sure I have actually have enough. Um, and I, I'm gonna run out of um, farmers, so I should probably make some more farmers. Let's put some, I do need to kind of expand here. So let's, let's put a brick road down like this. See, luckily I do have enough money to like kind of do basic building stuff. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, let's put some there. We'll put um, three here, two by three there, two by three there, um, two by three there and right here. All right, so we'll bring the roads kind of down like this, like this. And then what we're going to do is, we have plenty of wood, so we'll, we'll use the wood that we have. And then I, I don't know how that's going to affect our uh, our goods. It probably will, I'm sure, but it's, it's just what we gotta do. We don't have the commuter pier yet, so we gotta do the best we can. Get rid of that. Okay, so I think what I can do as well, let's, let's, let's fix up this road here. We'll, we'll bring the road kind of like this and like that kind of up towards the edge and then that way we have all this extra area I do want to figure out what to do with all this uh, all these worker clothes though it's it is a ton it's it's a, a big setup there and then the wood too the wood is kind of in the way for my future production um, ideas but I could I could put maybe some of it like right here maybe or maybe just more industry there um, but the island is starting to get a little uh, a little crowded. Uh, ship constructed, good, good. So that's my next ship of the line. And uh, let's move that kind of like right here. Move it there. And uh, I want to make a few gunboats. So where's my gunboats? There we go. It takes 20 sails and seven weapons. There, I want to make four. So I'm going to make four of those. This is going to be my little fleet that I'm going to use to take on, um, not that one, this one, Porto Porto Donata, because this one denies me access to like this side of the map, 
which is a little frustrating for sure. And then this one also is a pain, but uh, but his main island here, he doesn't have any big Bettys yet. I don't see a big Betty, but uh, it definitely has a lot of guns. I don't think we'd ever, I don't think we'd be able to take this out unless we had probably 20 plus ships of the line because they have a flamethrower there too. And we're about to find out how rough that flamethrower is against ship of the lines. Um, we'll definitely see, but ship of the lines have a ton of health too. So, um, and we did get some rum and we got some gold from those, killing those pirates. So that's kind of nice. We'll bring, we'll bring the rum and the gold back here to the trade post. But uh, I think we can actually build maybe a mounted gun or um, this should be, yeah, a cannon tower would probably be good. We can put one at the harbor back here. Oh, we already have one back here, good. All right, so I think our defenses are pretty decent actually. So we're gonna, we're gonna hold back on that. We don't wanna produce any extra more towers than we need to here. Um, let's check our needs. Um, so the fish is good. The schnapps is okay. Worker clothes is good. Um, so that's the that's the main Stop. needs. And then the farmers. The farmers are doing okay, actually. Farmers are doing okay. Um, and let's go ahead and build these. We'll build four of them. Get all that going. So we kind of take advantage of the harvest festival as well. Um, get four of those going. And then also, like... Couldn't I up? Can I upgrade my uh, my trade? I think I'll upgrade my trade post. We we'll get my ship of the line out of the way here, um, and then we'll put the gold in here. Yeah, I have a selling price. I could sell that gold for a good amount, probably to uh, to Miss Harlow. Um, let's upgrade this. It costs ten thousand fifteen. Because it'll it'll upgrade my storage, and I think that's kind of what, like what I was more looking for. But I think maybe a more budget option would be just to build a depot. That costs 2500 Yeah, I can do that. I think that would be a wiser decision right now. We can put actually a couple back here. Yeah, we can put one there. Actually, I should put it here. Like right there. Yeah. There we go. That'll, that'll give us like a plus 50. So that's good. Um, but I didn't want to put it on this side because someone like, like a Vincente could come up and attack like this and be out of range of my cannon tower probably so that's why I wanted to stay away from it but if you notice his ships and all the ships are staying away from Arrakis because because uh it's defended so well um so that's really nice now what I want to do is make a malt house or two um we can put two of them down blueprinted wise but uh but what I want to do is build one for now Actually, I should build two, right? I should build two, so I can so I can buy, build enough breweries. Um, the construction cost is one thousand six hundred. So, um, but I don't even have hops here yet. Okay, so let let's get the hops going. Um, they are right here on Caladan. Okay, so let's build one. We should ideally build all of them. Um, yeah, my farmers are taking a hit here. Let's downgrade some of these. Um, can't I hold alt or something or like click that and then hit alt? Yeah, there we go. We'll down, we'll downgrade, uh, like eight houses or, uh, 12 houses, I should say. Um, we'll build, we'll go ahead and get these ones going. These hop farms. I know it's expensive, but I gotta do what I gotta do, right? Routes. Um, so this one, I don't. Let's let's just get let's get as much hops as we can. Um, get that there, and then if I have a sur, I, I might have a surplus actually, which they'll be fine. And we should copy like one more just to just to make sure for good measure that we're getting as much as we can here. Um, we'll do this, upgrade those, get those hops going, and yeah, so that so that clipper will be that clipper's doing work for us. That's good. Two gunboats already. My fleet is looking nice, I must say. Looking really nice. Um, what next? What next? Okay, so we're getting the hops coming. We're getting extra. We're getting extra there. Um, let's get another malt house going, and then we'll blueprint the beer. And I think the beer can go like over in this area. We can do. How about? Um, can I do two here? That takes. Uh, that takes four actually. So let's get rid of this. This one road, kind of like that. It's already connected there. So get rid of that. 
and we can put we can put some beer like right here. This will be our little beer corner, and uh, we'll bring the road kind of this way. This will be beer corner, and then we can put a uh, warehouse there. What's going on with the income? Um, epidemic. I, I don't want this. Uh, I don't want that to happen. And this one. Happiness down is fine. I just wanted to publish a distraction to to see if like Margaret Hunt would actually react. Because before I thought she hated it. Yes, she does. She hates it. Okay, that's that sucks. Minus five. Um, so we have to publish the truth. Looks like if we want to be friends with her. Um, and yeah, she's at thirty nine. And Vincente declared war on me at about like thirty five. I think. So we're we're very very close to being to going into war again. I'm gonna build two breweries here, even though they're not producing quite yet, but they will be getting they'll be getting the malt, um, and then the uh, then the hops will be coming in too, and then the the clipper is already here to pick up the hops. So beer production can probably start right away. Um, and then the wood, the wood should be being used right now by the sewing machines. And actually, am I getting short on sewing machines? Um, I could be. Yeah, sewing machines are short. I figured they would be. So we can go ahead and make another one here. I know it's going to really, really drain my... Uh, it's going to severely drain my, my income, but uh, what can you do? I'm making plenty of windows, that's for sure. I didn't need this extra setup here with the glass, but... That's okay. Um, we can upgrade this. It's gonna no. That's that's that'll be too much money actually. That'd be that'd be way too much. Um, yeah. So I just depleted my cost by a lot. But making beer should be a big deal. The sewing machines should be also a big deal. Then the university. Um, the fur coats. Okay. Okay. Let's let's. The fur coats are the next big thing. They'll, they'll be giving me a lot of income. So I don't have fur, but I have plenty of cotton fabric. Plenty of that. So, let's see here. I, I want to bring in fur, but I can't do it. Um, okay, okay. Does this, Catan doesn't have fur. Um, wonder if I can, you know what? I'm gonna set to buy fur and just see if, uh, I'm gonna buy like 90 of it or whatever. Yeah, 89. Oh no, I can't paint you 90K. Oh. Dang it. That that was what I was not hoping for. Not good. Not good at all. Um so that means she's she's going to be attacking um she's going to be attacking here. Ship under attack. Yep, she's going to be attacking here. So Ship under attack. Yes, I know. I know. Um let's bring my um let's bring these guys over here to defend this area. And it costs quite a bit of money. Um, to do that. So, oh, look at my income. It's skyrocketing right now. That's that's awesome. But let's blueprint um, another cannon tower. I think, like, right here would be good. And then maybe a flame tower. Oh, that costs 25 weapons. Anti-armor gun. So the anti-armor gun would be what we need against um, against the, uh, like, the destroyers. The big, the big ships. Um, so I've, so... I have 15 weapons here. That means I've made a couple trips so far. And I'll be unloading all that rum, coffee, and everything else. So that's awesome. And this island could actually be taken from me at any moment, I think. Um, my harbor is under attack. Oh, Vicente is attacking with his stupid little gunboat there. Which is interesting. I wonder if anything will drop from it. Yeah, something did drop. Something did. Um, oh, and I already have all my gunboats. Interesting. Um, people are starting to get sick. Where? Um, where is that happening at? Oh, it's happening in Perella. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's uh, let's fix that like right now. We'll put a uh, we'll put a hospital right here, and hopefully that'll be good enough. It costs some money, yeah, sure, but it's got to be done. I'm glad I actually had enough money to do it. Um, let's put the brick road kind of like this. That way it actually uh, gets good service. Okay. And then, I, honestly, if we lose Narasia or if we if we lose um, any other island in the New World, I'm not too concerned about it. As long as we have Perella, I'm happy with that. So that'll be fine. So I wonder if I can actually handle an attack against, um, against Vincente right now. And all I want to do is take... Um, well, mean, taking Mino would be good. But... Uh, 
maybe this one would be better. But see, this way, I'm also, I'm, I'm beset by enemies here as well now because of Margaret Hunt. So it's just, it's really hard. Like, I would have to go all the way around to get anywhere. Like, and if I had the lower area, I would be good, right? But I, I don't have enough to take a Guarda from a Vicente. And that's just a, a really, really big island. I, I can't deal with that island. So maybe at the very least, I can take this from him and get the furs, right? For the fur coats. So I think that's going to have to be what I do. Let's let's try attacking him with the fleet and see what happens. Um, we'll use the gunboats. They can be our sacrificial lambs at first. And then um, we can bring the ships of the line in later. I'll just, I'll have them kind of like I do in like the Total War games. I wish I could have like control groups like Control 1. Oh yeah, I can actually have a control group for them. So those will be one. And this is getting attacked by pirates. That's wonderful. I'm so glad that's happening. And we have a we have we actually do have a cannon tower right here to kind of help with that. So as long as the clipper kind of gets away. Um Yeah, and the wind direction is really bad. Okay. Um that's that's I guess that's fine for now. But the gunboats will be uh control two. So I hit control two. And then when I press the two key, it just selects them all, which is awesome. So I'm gonna have these these uh, four gunboats go and attack that. Uh, I'm gonna have everything attack the flame tower first, and then see if that does the trick as far as like, um, as far as taking it out. Because once that dies, I should be able to take the rest of this out pretty much no problem. So I'll take I'll take that out first, and then I'll take the uh, the repair tower, and then the rest of the guns, and then it should it should fall pretty easy after that. So, um, so let's, um, let's do this. Let's do this right now. We'll have them go in. We'll have them kind of like... Yeah, see, they're, they're getting annihilated. Getting completely annihilated, but that's okay. Oh, that, that got annihilated, actually. Awesome. We're going to just speed this up for now. I'll probably lose at least a couple ships, um, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely lose at least that ship of the line for sure. Because those those uh, those ships are doing work. And I'm actually not doing much damage to that cannon. That's kind of frustrating. Um, yeah, that, that cannon is tanky as hell. But the, uh, the flame tower, though, that one was not as tanky at all. I actually was able to kill that pretty darn easily. Um, oh, now he's, uh, now he's getting... I'm actually might lose this because, um, yep, let's get that, let's get rid of that ship of the line. Come on, come on. Let's get this, uh, ship out of the way. Get that to be a little more tanky. Good to go. Get, kill that. Good. Now we're going to get the trade post here. Let's take that out. Hopefully I actually can. Um, let's, let's get this out of the way. Get it out, get it out. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Get it. Good, I saved it, I saved it. I think. Yes, I saved it. <laughs> good, good. Okay, I took this island from him. Um, claim shares. Um, definitely conquer island. Because I need these. Oh, he's got... He's got more ships. Um, let's try to get away, actually. Let's get away from him here. I mean, you went to war with me, buddy. Um, yeah, you went to war with me. But yeah, he can't actually attack this right now, so I, what I want to do is I want to put some guns in here, like right away. So, um, let's actually make, I want to make a clipper, make an extra clipper, because I'll need one. Um, so I'm actually, I'm actually pretty excited that I was able to take this from him. Um, but the problem is, is he has a ship just wait. he has ships just sitting there. Um, looks like they might be going away, actually. That would be kind of nice, but this ship is in such bad condition. I lost pretty much every single ship there, besides one ship of the line. So um, it's going to be half an hour before this is attackable again. But during that time, I should be able to... Uh, oh, under attack. Why is it under attack? What is attacking me then? Um, nothing, I guess, so far. Let's uh, Let's get a cannon tower there. Then leave these guys kind of right here. And what do I need to actually make a repair, uh, repair tower here? Um, I don't, I don't see. Can I make one here? Yeah, I can make a repair crane. It's seventy-five bricks. 
50 yeah it's so worth it though um yeah let's put it like right let's put it right here yep okay so that's a that's actually a really good uh that's a huge like defensive thing right there um let's go to the old world again my people are healthy again good to go good to go i wonder if i can make oh no i'm making the clipper now and i probably can't make okay um my workers are actually not happy about something um, let's upgrade a few farmers then, just to make sure they're, like, happy. There we go. Um, and then the ruins of my cities are from Perella. That's gonna be here. So we can fix those ruins, and we should be... Okay, there's some there. Ship under attack, again. Minor issue? What's the minor issue? Oh, I the storage is full. That's fine. Um, and actually, yeah, and I'm not using anything yet So with that, so... Let's, uh, as soon as this, I'm gonna let this, uh, ship of the line get repaired. Actually, let's maybe get some of these items. Let's see what, see what his, uh, harbor dropped over here. Yeah, all the, uh, basically all the AI are gonna go to war with me. Pretty much, I just accept that fact. Oh, and those are disappearing now, so. Never mind, I missed out on those goods. But Vicente was, um, Vicente was, like, sitting there waiting for me. Like, he wanted to kill my ship so bad. Um, but I wonder what, if this is like an item or something, or like, I don't know what it is. Ooh, and I got some items here, look at that. Grape shot, mortar, flamethrower. Um, actually I can, I can sell those. Ooh, look at those steel beams. Oh man, that is, oh, and there, there goes all the goods. Well, I got 150 steel beams out of it before, um, before my, uh, before the goods disappeared, so that's pretty nice. That's pretty, pretty nice. Um, and what's going on with the... So they're, they are producing the beer. Good. Very good. The, 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 uh, the sewing machines are good to go again. Which is nice. And the beer is, is coming in full swing now. Good. So now that we got the beer going... I think fur coats are going to be next in line for sure. They're, they're definitely the most income. And that'll be... Uh, and now that we have this new island here... Um, Porto de Nada. I f I'm gonna have to look up the names of some more dune planets to uh, rename some of my stuff. But uh, this will definitely be furs. And I think the furs... Um, let's see. I can at least fit a few here. So blueprint mode is on. So I can do like right there. I can probably do... I can put maybe like four on here total. Which would be nice. It'd be really nice. Ship construction finished. Okay, now let's grab a few goods here, and um, I want to definitely put a couple cannons down. So the steel beams, I have enough for that. Um, let's see, cannon tower. Actually, a flame tower would be good too, because no one, no one has the, um, no one has those big boy ships yet. Um, let's see, cannon or a flame tower, twenty bricks. Oh, it costs 6,000, though. That is so much. That's a lot. Um, but then the uh, the cannon tower is tanky as hell, but it requires uh, only 4,000. So I can put um, two of them right there and right there. I have the steel beams covered. They require timber, bricks, and weapons. Yes, so what? let's do timber, bricks, and then uh, how about weapons? We'll do... One, two, three, four. We'll do four weapons here, and then uh, we'll bring it here. Then build those two, uh, build those two cannons, and then we'll be able to get fur over here. And I'm gonna blueprint a couple fur dealers because um, I think I think we'll be able to get fur coats up and running pretty darn soon. So I'm gonna put two, four here. Put four of them down, and then we'll put the, uh... Because we already have the cotton fabrics here. We already have, like, full stack. And then getting the fur will just be that nice, like, next step. Um, actually, did I, did I just lose a, uh... No, I didn't... I didn't... I, I didn't lose the, uh, the ship. But there is some good sitting here. I wonder... Oh, man, this, this clipper is almost dead, too. Because it, it keeps getting attacked. It keeps getting attacked every single time it, it something happens with it. Um, Vicente actually brought uh, some ships over here too to like oh he's got he's got some blimps here. Um, is that an attack one? I can't tell if that's an attacking one or not. 
I don't think it's an attacker. But I think there is attacking blimps. But yeah, he's got blimps already. That's crazy. That is really crazy. Where is that quest that's sitting there? Ah, oh, there it is. Is it an ar artisan quest? It is. It is an artisan quest. At the church, the market, and the pub. So there's one there. The market. Where's the market one at? Um, close that. The pub. And then there's like there's one at the market too. He said the market is this or that. Oh no, the fine courtier. Uh, framework knitters, workforce needed, and extra goods sales. It's actually not bad. That's actually not a bad uh, card at all. Um, and how would I sell these? I I could take them to Madame Kahina if I wanted to. I, if I wanted to sell the um, sell the items here, actually I should do that like right now. Um, let's change that to infinite. Get rid of these. And then let's build a cannon tower here and a cannon tower there. Good. Now this is protected. Awesome. Now we're going to bring in, get these items here. This, uh, that'll sell really nicely. Um, this will sell nicely too. So now, um, let's bring that over to Madam Kahina. To do that, we need to go right here. Speed this up, and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hand guide this ship all the way, all the way to Madame Kahina, because I can't I can't sell anything to Archie, I can't I can't make it to Eli, I can't I can't make it to Archie or Eli, but I can use Madame Kahina as a trader. Um, an escort quest, sure. Um, ooh, that's so close to Vincente. I do not like that. Do not like that at all. Let's bring this up here. Um, she has a gunboat there. Oh, she's getting killed by, uh, Alonzo. Nice. Get her. Get her, get her. Um, and then what else What do we have here? We have a, uh, is that a flagship? Yeah, that's Vincente's flagship. Um, it's attacking that frigate, too. But he's, looks like he's allied with the pirates. The pirates did not attack him as he went by. That's, uh, interesting. Let's get this clipper up here quickly before it gets killed. Um... Oh, and, and the pirates attacking, uh, yeah, wow. Interesting. Uh, let's put that on slower. Actually, we'll keep this sped up. All we're doing is this real quick. We're going to, um, sell. And we got 125,000 out of those items. That is awesome. That is so much money. Hell yeah. That is, that's, that's exciting. It's really exciting. Um, and this ship is actually about to get killed, so I'm going to put this um, ship of the line as an escort for it and uh, hopefully that'll protect it a decent amount oh yeah my my uh, my clipper is going to die here it's going to die for sure if we can turn it around real quick and get it going south that's all I care about okay let's get it let's get it uh actually let's get it to the repair crane and then we'll Put the ship of the line like right here for now, and then we'll uh, we'll get like maybe a frigate. We'll build a frigate and escort it with that. Um, yeah, we'll build one there. And then we'll escort it with the frigate, and then also keep the keep the ship of the line kind of behind just for a standby. Let's build um, some more workers. I think would be good. Build some there, and then we're also uh, also the school basic need is actually not exactly in coverage range. We'll, we'll blueprint this one here, and then hopefully that'll be in a good enough range for the workers. It should be. It should actually, yeah, that'll, that'll be pretty good. It'll give me quite a bit. So we'll put that in range, and then that'll give us a good amount of workers back. I can't believe I got 135, like 135,000 out of those items from him. That is so cool. And I have some more items too here that I can probably sell, like 2,000, 1,000, 5,000 for that. Um, and all that's doing is lowering maintenance costs. Ooh, the soap factory, pig farm, and rendering works increased productivity. That would be nice to have, um, like, right here. Like, if I put it right, uh, well, that item, let's see what the item is. It's, uh, soap factory, pig farm, and rendering works. So it's, it'll be all this right here. Yeah, it would be all of it. Um, if I put it right here, it would at least affect some of it. Yeah, it would at least affect some of it. 
Um, let's do this. Because I think that's going to be more important than, than the rest of this. Because what's in it now? All ironworks and foundries, proactivity and attractiveness. So it, it, it was helping a bit. It was helping. But uh, I think I think getting getting more of this is going to help more because I can sell the soap. And I am selling the soap right now, I believe. Yeah, I'm still selling it. Right here. So yeah, it's doing pretty good. And then actually I can build another soap soap factory because my tallow is my tallow production's like through the roof right now. So yeah, another one of those. Um overall we're doing pretty good, even though we're at war with Miss Hunt as well. That's pretty much that's that's fine for now. Um I sent the extra clipper over here. And I'll send the other one. I'll send it right here. This one's repairing good. Good to go. Um, the income is decreasing a bit now. Oh yeah, because I need I need to get I need to get furs over here. But I've already I've already hit the hour mark. But what I can do is I can build furs right now and then call it a call it an episode. So um, yeah, let's put one here. There's one hunting cabin there. I can put one. I want a hundred percent on these guys. So yep, hunting cabin there. Uh, let's see, hunting cabin, another one can go, like I said, 100%, there we go. Arrakis, how is it under attack? Oh, it's this. It's this. Yeah, it can't stand against, uh, one ship of the line, I guess. Um, actually, maybe it can. Oh, it took it out, it took it out. Actually, no, I didn't. Not cruel, unless I oh, I got it. I actually got it. That is so... That's good. I won't Just say the word. That's that's awesome. Let's bring it up here. Let's bring this clipper up here and get some of these Just goods that I got. Um, right here. We'll grab those. And then we'll, re we'll repair this in time. But let's... Uh, oh, why am I under attack? Oh, a pirate just did a drive-by. Interesting. Can't this... Uh, it seems like that should be able to that flame tower should be able to attack that, but I guess not. Let's put down a, a mounted gun here too. I think that would be a good decision because this this obviously can't beat one ship of the line by itself, so I should do maybe one here too, just to make sure I'm uh, I'm well guarded. It costs four thousand, yeah, and some influence, but that's okay. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be really really handy to have that second tower there. So he won't he won't be able to screw with me at all right here. Ooh, lots of weapons, good. And more weapons, awesome. I'm really actually really glad we got all those weapons here. We'll drop them off there. And then that means we can have 300 weapons. Okay, that's good. That's very very good. Um so now um I can go back to actually my fur my fur production. And like I said, I do want 100% on all of them. So um, this one's at 100. And, oh, I might not be able to get 100 on all of them. That's okay. I can do 96 on this one. And that one. Now I need to connect them all and get the warehouses going. Um, so we'll get ones going here. Right there. Oh, yeah. See, once, I, once you add the roads and stuff, yeah, it's a little bit less. Um... Actually, all of them can reach the uh, warehouse. That's that's good. Cool. I wonder if I can actually fit any more. Yeah, not all of them are 100. I know. I'm. I, <laughs> I know. I don't like it either. But uh, yeah, so I can fit one, two, three, four, five. I can fit five here. Really good. I'm happy about that. So my frigate is ready. Awesome. We'll drop off some weapons here. Drop those off too. Actually, I'm just gonna. Um, okay, so let's set this one. Um, let's get another. I want another frigate. So I'm gonna put two frigates on the uh, on the trade route with this guy to help him out, and also to get some extra items potentially from the ships that I kill. But uh, let's put the ship of the line in the frigate. We'll we'll start him again because I can't produce beer or anything without without that hop income. So um, yeah, we'll commence the escort here. And I think this is actually that this is a safer route here now because I because I I basically control this corridor. 
So uh, that's that's actually exciting. And I could, you know what I should do, is put a repair repair crane right here. It's a little expensive, but well worth it. So I'll put it right here. Repair crane, boom. So now this is this is like a really really safe area. Like a really safe area. Let's delete that. Delete that too. For now, for now. Because I'll probably put some more harbor buildings here anyway. But uh, yeah, so really, really safe area. Um, the Merlin is going well. Actually, and I can't, I can't, uh, my island's still holding firm. Um, all right, so it's been an hour and five minutes. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, I keep getting distracted, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope we've made enough progress for you. Um, we've done quite a bit. We've went to war with two people. We've uh, we've built some towers down here. We've really uh, we've actually done really really well. We've upped our we've got beer income. We we just got a whole bunch of goods going. So that's uh, that's actually really really exciting. And um, and we can in the next episode we'll get the fur coats going and we'll build the the university and that will be like the first steps towards um, getting engineers. So that's that's really exciting. And I will catch you on the next one. I hope you all have a great weekend. Take care.